Let's go, Carniste. It's time for Mass with Mr. Thomas. Chapter 12, lesson number 4, Polar Form 2, looking at the multiplication and division of complex numbers in polar form. So last lesson we were introduced to polar form and we know that is when we write our complex number, a plus bi, you've got a real part and imaginary part, we can rewrite that in the form r bracket cos theta plus i sine theta, with r being the modulus and theta being the argument. Look back at that first lesson if you're wanting more details with that. That is when our complex number is expressed with polar form, but what's the point in doing that? Uh, why do we do it? Well, we can write a complex number in polar form because it makes multiplication and division so much easier. It also makes finding powers easier, but we'll look at that in the next lesson. So, to multiply complex numbers together, well, when they're in polar form, all we have to do is multiply the moduluses, or moduli together, and with the arguments, we would add them. To divide complex numbers when they are in polar form, all we do with the moduli is we divide them. And with the arguments when we're dividing, well, we would subtract the arguments. Let's look at a few examples. So example one, let z equal 8 bracket cos 50 degrees plus i sine 50 degrees and w equal 2 bracket cos 30 degrees plus i sine 30 degrees. So express z, w in the form r bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. So for z, w, well we know we're going to be multiplying these complex numbers together. So we would have the 8 cos 50 plus i sine 50 multiplied by the 2 bracket cos 30 plus i sine 30. Because we are multiplying two complex numbers in polar form, this is what we want to look at. So all we do is we multiply the moduli together. So the moduli, the modulus here is 8, it's number in front of the brackets. The modulus here is 2, you would multiply them together. So 8 times 2, 16. Perfect. And we're going to have cos of what? Well, here it's going to be cos 50, here it's a cos 30. All we do with the arguments is we add them together. So that becomes 16 bracket cos 80, because it's the 50 at 30, and then plus i sine, and again the 50 at 30 would give you 80. So when you multiply those complex numbers, the z times the w, all you do is multiply the moduli and add the arguments, and that will be your answer. Example 2, let z equal 8 bracket cos 50 degrees plus i sine 50 degrees and w be 2 bracket cos 30 degrees plus i sine 30 degrees. This time we're wanting to express z over w in a polar form, the r bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. Because we have z over w, we are dividing our complex numbers. So we have z, a bracket cos 50 plus i sine 50, and we're dividing that by w, the two bracket cos 30 plus i sine 30. Because we're dividing our complex numbers in polar form, this is what we're looking at. With the moduli, what do we do with them? Divide! Brilliant. So the modulus here is 8, the modulus here is 2, divide 8 by 2 and you end up with 4. Woo! Subtract the arguments. So the argument, the size of the angle here is 50, the size of the angle here is 30. So we subtract them 50, take away 30 would give you 20. So we get the in brackets the cost 20 plus i sine 20. Woo! And that's the answer. Example 3, let z be 8 bracket cos 50 plus i sine 50 and w be 2 bracket cos 30 plus i sine 30. This time express in the form r cos theta plus i sine theta w cubed over z squared. So for this one, because we're dividing the w cubed by the z squared, what we want to do is we want to first of all work out w cubed. So you know w cubed will be w times w times w. Dat. From that then, well, we know we would have w as this 2 bracket cos 30 plus i sine 30. So we'd have the 2 bracket cos 30 plus i sine 30. And we're going to be multiplying that by another 2 bracket cos 30 plus i sine 30 times another 2 cos 30 plus i sine 30. Because we are multiplying these three complex numbers together in polar form, well, again, you're wanting to think about this. When you multiply in polar form, multiply the moduli and add the arguments. So let's do that. Let's multiply the moduli. So 2 times 2 times 2 gives you 
No, it's not six. It is eight. Well done. And with the arguments, so the angles, we've got a 30 here, we've got a 30 here, and we've got a 30 here. So if you add them together, you'd end up with 90. And it's the same as sine of 30, sine of 30, sine of 30. So you're just going to get I sine 90. Just add them together. So that is W cubed. We've also got this Z squared. So we know Z squared is going to be Z times Z. Z is 8 bracket cos 50 plus I sine 50. And we're multiplying that by itself. When you're multiplying, all you do, once again, multiply the moduli. So 8 times 8 will give us 64. And add the argument. So it's cos of 50 and it's cos of 50. So we'll get cos 100. And the same with the sine. It's 50 and 50. So we'll get I sine 100. Woo! So we've got Z squared. The question is asking us to divide this w cubed by z squared. So w cubed, we know that is the 8 bracket cos 90 plus i sine 90. And we're wanting to divide that by the z squared, the 64 cos 100 plus i sine 100. So for this, to divide, what we're wanting to do this time is to divide the moduli and subtract the arguments. So let's do that. So to divide the moduli, I've got 8 divided by 64. Just imagine that as a fraction, 8 over 64. What would that be if you simplify it, Lily? Perfect, that would just go to 1 8th. Woo! And in the brackets, we would have what's well, going to be the cos of what? Well, you want to subtract the argument, so it's going to be 90 take away 100, and 90 take away 100 would give you negative 10. Same with sine, 90 take away 100, we'd have plus the i sine negative 10. And that there will be the answer where we're asked to express the w cubed over z squared in polar form, r bracket cos theta plus i sine theta, which is what we have done. Yo! Try some of the questions in the unit 3 booklet, polar form 2, the looking at multiplication and division, page 61. Best of luck. Have fun. Bye. Yo ho ho.